don't get me wrong, I like Rana, but she does my head in. I seen yeah. Laughing with her at the Barbie. No, that's just it. We get on dead well. She makes me laugh. It's just the game playing that drives me mad. Hey, your gran drives me mad sometimes. But a board, never. Yeah, but she is a pussycat compared to Rana. I don't think Sally would agree. And to be quite honest, I think it's more about Cal than Sally. For nearly a year. I know. I'll uh, keep an eye on her. Has your phone's ringing. Hello, Caroline's phone. Oh, yeah, she's just here. Can I ask who's calling, please? It's your support officer. Right. Hi, Linda. Yeah, I'm well, thanks. If you just give us a sec. Um, I'll see you tonight, babe. I'll cook us something really nice for tea. OK. okay. See ya. Bye. Hello? Visit here? When? Is that really necessary? It, it's just, it's not very convenient. No, you're not listening. It's not an option. Your mum's... You're back? I forgot my lip balm. Really? Why didn't you want your support officer from where earlier? Eh? Not an option. I think your words were. Were you listening? How dare you listen to a private conversation? Why is it private? What are you hiding? It's about your injury. What's so bad about all that that you don't want to tell me, Kaz? Why didn't you want to come in round? You and your dad don't need people just turning up. But why didn't you tell me all this? Why do I have to drag it out of you? You obviously don't trust me. You're in no position to lecture me about trust after what you did. Ah, you're always going to bring it back to her. If you don't trust me, then maybe we don't have a future. You're right, maybe we don't. What is that supposed to mean? Just sit down for a minute. Well, they're having a right ding-dong. Paper thin walls. You can hear a twicklet being dropped down here. Do you know, when Lloyd and Andrew were up there, he'd come down and say, oh, we had a right Barney this morning. I'd say, I know, give him chapter and verse. Three cars. Yeah, where you go. Ten minutes. Vince, Mr. Riggins, outside fresh goes, going home. What? I don't want to tell you how to do your job. Mm hmm But you're going to tell me how to do my job. No, 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 no. You do a brilliant job. I just think you could be a bit more chirpy with the punters. Oh, do you now? Mm. Well, when you've worked here ten years, done ten thousand shifts, and had to put up with time wasters and cranks... All right, Travis Bickle. Just try to keep the customers happy. No, you're sticking your nose in. Like you stuck your nose into Steve's love life. Yes, I've heard all about it, telling him how to woo Michelle. Anyone would think you were Oma Sharif and not the window cleaner. Well, what's he been saying? Anyway, if your tips on keeping customers happy are anything like your advice on seduction, we'd be bust in six months. <laughs> Michelle's fuming that you've discussed a sex life with you. I told her. Why would you do that? Cos she wanted to know who filled his head with all that nonsense. No, I can't believe he's dubbed me in it. Mm. Well, from now on, whether it's matters of the heart or, more importantly, my telephone manner, keep your trap shut. I'm sorry. I don't want to split up. I love you. I love you too. But you need to stop worrying about Sophie. You need to trust me. It's just hard to get over what you did. You kissed someone else. Mm. She kissed me. She was out of order. She knows that. And I'm trying to move on. It's just seeing around here all the time. She lost her girlfriend not too long ago. I think she's just lonely. What are you saying? I want us... ..you... ..to put what's happened behind us. Move on. Otherwise... I don't know how this is going to work. OK. Thanks, babe. It means a lot to me. I know. 